In this video, we're going to take a look at the means procedure, which allows us to get summary statistics of, um, of our data sets. The particular data set we're going to look at is one that we've already imported in a previous video. So go to my libraries. Uh, we're using the MAT008 library. And it's going to be the MMM data set. Now the first thing I'm going to do um, before I do any work on a data set is just take a a look at it using proc contents. So this is equivalent to looking at the the card of a present without actually unwrapping it. So proc contents data equals mat008 the library mmm the data set and run. If I submit that this is a little error that comes up on my machine but it's nothing to worry about. And I'm going to open up this um, a bit more. We scroll up Let's see all the information we have. So now we know what the variables are, so we can try and do uh, get some summary statistics relating to them. Uh, we also note that proc contest give us gives us um, the sort variables. This var this data set is sorted on the variable name. Don't worry about formats and in formats for now. We'll we'll come back to those when we need to. So in its simplest form, proc means um, is simply written out like this, so proc means the data set, so mat008 mmm semicolon and run. So if I run that, we get some basic, um, sorry, some default summary uh, dis summary statistics for the numerical values for age, height in meters, weight in kg, savings in pounds, and a random number. And so we've got the number of observations, the mean, the standard deviation, the minimum, and the maximum. Now um, I can I can specify further that I only want it for a particular variable. So proc means data equals mat008 dot mmm semicolon var and let's say I just want age. Okay. Um, so var age semicolon and run. So if I run that. I get basically the same thing, but just for the age. If I was just interested in the age, that's what I would put in. But now, let's say I was just interested in um, in some in a certain subset of these default uh, summary statistics, or or indeed more of the default summary statistics that aren't listed there. So proc means date equals mat 8mm and now I say okay, I want m n, sorry, and let's say I want the mean, but let's also say I want the sum, so that's something that's not in the default settings. The list of all these are very quick to find online. So n, the mean, and the sum, and I want the var variable to be the age, so var age, and I run that. So here we are. Um, the analysis, analysis variable is age, the mean number of observations, the number of observations is 13, the mean is 40, and the sum is 520. Okay, so um, I can do this for more. I, I, if I leave out the var statement, I have all the variables, but I can keep the var statement and do more than one. So proc means date equals mat008 dot mmm number of variables. The mean. I'll leave out the sum. There's, there's no need for it. And the variable I want the age, and I want um, let's say the height in meters. And I could list all the variables there if I wanted to. If I run that, we have the age and the height, the number of variables, and the mean. Now, um, what we can do is subset our, our, um, our results using one of two options. So let's say I wanted to get these results, but by the sex, so by the gender of my um, of my observation. So proc means data equals mat008 dot mmm the number of observations, the mean, var age height in meters. So the two variables I want. And I'm going to use a class statement. So class I want it to be on the sex variable. Okay, so in other words, class is simply saying, right, I want you to compartmentalize my data by whatever variables are here. And I could put multiples of them, but let's just put class and sex. Now, if I run that, let's see what happens. 
we indeed have those being compartmentalized by class. So we got the four variables of sex, because I had some observations uh, that had sex recorded as F, some recorded as female. So obviously going forward, I'd want that to be the same, and we'll see how to do that in future videos, and M and male. And then we've got the variables, number of observations, and the mean for age and height of meters. We can do this with another statement. Um, proc, so let me just bring that up so we can see some of the old code. So proc means data equals mat 008mmm and then mean var the age the height in meters and I can use a by statement instead of a class statement by sex. Now these are ultimately the same the but we'll see we're going to run into a very easy problem to fix with the by, with the sec with the by statement. So I submit that oh first of all it's finding a, a spelling mistake so let me just fix that the height in meters and now let's run that we have another problem the data set is not sorted so whenever you use a by statement your data set has to be sorted so let's do that proc sort data equals mat 008.mmm by uh, sex and run that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this code here and I'm just going to write it underneath. And now what you can do is you can highlight two statements together. So the proc sort and the proc means. I'm going to highlight them together, but they will be run in order. So I submit that and go back to our log. See the first thing that ran was the proc sort. That all worked fine. And then the proc means happened. And then the proc means is now compartmentalized by sex. So we've got sex M, sex equals male. And here we got sex female and sex equals um, F. So the by statement does things slightly differently. The class statement, um, I think, looks a bit neater. And importantly, it does not require your data sets to be sorted. Right. One last thing we're going to do is show that you can actually create a data set using the proc means. So proc means data equals mat 008mmm And I want the number of observations and the mean. The variables, I want the age and the height in meters. And now I want to output a data set. So output is the statement that says I'm going to do that, where the data set's going to go, so out equals. And I want this to go in my work library, so work dot summary. Now, if I want to go in the work library, I can actually delete the statement work dot. Because the default library, if no library specified, is the work library. And then I say, OK, what am I going to call these new variables? So the number of observations of age is going to be called, um, uh, let me write that as number of obs age. And let me just open this up. And the um, number of observations of height in meters, I'm going to call that the number of obs height. And I can also get the mean of age. I'm going to say that to be um, mean age. And I'm not going to put in the, the mean for height in meters for now. And if we run that, First of all, it comes up here, the age and height in meters, the, the number of observations and the mean. But if I go to my Explorer pane and I go to my work library, we see that we have a new data set. So let me, uh, let me view that data set. So proc print data equals summary. Run. And we see we have the um, the required information. So the number of observations, number of observations, height, and the mean age. I could add in the mean um, the mean height as well if I wanted to. 
if you if you draw the seed in browser mode, but remember always to close a uh, data set when you open it in browser mode. If you want to do work on it, we can do that as well. So I'll double click there. We have that, which is just the same numbers we had previously. And that's more or less all there is to know about proc means.